Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Jennings Brower and today I want to introduce you to Pond Megastore. We are very well known for our wide variety of plant selections that cannot be found locally. We have hundreds of varieties of lotus that most Americans actually have never seen or heard of. Almost all of our plants are sent directly to your home as live plants. At Pond Megastore, we help to supply plants for both small and large backyard water features. We can also help to plant out and supply plants for natural earth bottom ponds as large as multiple acres. Our website has a ton of helpful information that you can use to make water gardening more fun and easier. If you ever have a question that our website does not help answer, please do not hesitate to reach out to us either by email or down in the comments down below and that way we can help you by giving you the answer that you need. I hope that you can find most of your answers either via text or video to most of your questions. If not, we are great at responding by email to help you out as best as possible. I find that this separates us from other growers because we want you to feel like you're part of a team and that somebody has your back. We want this growing experience to be as positive as possible. We sell over 300 varieties of lotus in the early spring. If you love lotus or want to try something new or unique, I highly suggest to order way before shipping begins to make sure you get exactly what you want. Note that these are the only plants that cannot be shipped in the growing state and can only be shipped in late winter and early spring. We do, however, include a free Lotus 32 page information handbook with every order of Lotus. So you should have the key to any of your Lotus questions right there at hand. We ship our plants from three different locations around the US. Different plants grow at these different locations at different times during the year. Regardless of what you order or where you order it from, it should all arrive to you in the same amount of time. Our main season is between April 1st and July 31st. Everything is shipped out at a uniform size. We try our best to keep it this way. If a plant has grown too large before shipping, we cut it back so that it arrives to you ready to grow and ready to go. Shelf plants or bog plants will arrive with either a nursery pot or bare root, which simply means without the nursery pot. The plants will both be about the same size and arrive with live foliage. All plants should be repotted in a proper growing size container. Most containers will be a relatively nice size, especially for taller plants or perennial water lilies. The minimum size container can be found in our planting directions on any of our products pages or in the information below their images. Fertilizer schedules are a really good idea especially for water lilies and lotus, which are often considered heavy feeders. Annual water lilies can bloom each and every single day from the first day of summer to the first day of frost if you follow the planting directions. These are the most giving plants in terms of flowers and impact, yet so many people overlook these amazing, amazing bloomers and have never even tried them in their ponds. Annual water lilies are very easy and exciting to grow and will give you the most amazing bang for your hard earned buck. Fertilize these properly and they will bloom every day until that first cold weather day hits. Hardy perennial water lilies need a lot of sunlight, a wide pot, and proper soil. But when it's done right, they can bloom most of the summer and fall throughout the country. Please note that most hardy perennial water lilies tend to exhaust out and stop blooming in the mid to late summer, especially down in the south as they don't really like hot water temperatures. The perennial lilies do well in the rest of the USA, but need an adequate size pot and proper fertilizer. They can also do very well without a pot in natural earth bottom pots. Marginal plants and bog plants are shallow water plants. They are wonderful for filtering the water and are quite resistant to koi since they have thick stems and grow near the surface. Please check out our separate video on which plants are useful in koi ponds and will not be damaged or eaten by koi.
Submerged oxygenating plants keep the pond clean and clear. Hornwort and Vallisneria are two of our most hardy cold water plants and are good anywhere in the United States. They keep your pond clean and clear. Please make sure to check out our separate video on the different types that are also good for your pond. Floating plants are pretty self-explanatory. Some, like water poppy and snowflake, grow even faster when planted with a little bit of soil. However, it's not necessary for them to grow. Now it's very important to note that large koi like to destroy floating plants. It's really a good thing then that on pondmegastore.com we sell protective floating plant barriers which are basically floating rings that have a mesh bottom. You can plant your floating plants inside of this ring and the mesh keeps the koi away. After about two weeks, the floating plants will grow so much so that it covers the side of the ring and it won't be unsightly or unwanted in your pond. The koi will be able to eat around the edges, but it will not be able to get to the main part of the plant. Remember, floating plants are mostly tropical. Two of them, like the mosaic plant and water lettuce, are true tropical. What this means is they cannot take the cool mornings in the spring. In their natural environment, in the nighttime, it is no less than 75 degrees and during the daytime, 90 degrees. Too often, people want these plants at or near the end of spring. The problem is that these plants cannot tolerate cool water or cool mornings, and this is something that really needs to be comprehended, otherwise the plants just will not survive. It's very important that we understand that cold temperatures are not okay just as long as it's above freezing. If, for example, your order has a temperature sensitive plant as well as perennials that can survive colder temperatures, we will wait until the spring when we know that temperature sensitive plants such as a tropical will survive. However, if your order just has perennials that can survive colder temperatures, we will send those earlier than just the springtime. We sell live tadpoles as well as algae eating snails in the spring and the summer. We have a separate video for you guys to check out to see how to properly acclimate them to your new pond. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been a educational introduction to Pond Megastore. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to turn on post notifications so that you do not miss any of our future educational videos. And as always, you can visit us at www.pondmegastore.com. Now feel free to go back to the rest of our channel and peruse the rest of our educational videos. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day.